A whopping 87% of Canadians think food prices are rising faster than their income. Dalhousie University has released a survey on how Canadians are coping with soaring food prices. Sylvain Charlebois is the senior director of the Agri-Food Analytics Lab, and he joins us now from Halifax. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for being here. Canada's food price report is forecasting food prices are going to rise 4% in 2020. Are there specific categories that Canadians are most concerned about? Absolutely. Uh, they are three. The first one are vegetables. Uh, vegetables have gone up 12% in 2019 alone. And we are expecting uh, vegetable prices to go up. And that's the number one category can Canadians are concerned about. Number two are fruits. And fruits have gone up, but not as much, about 5% this year. We're expecting that number to go up uh, by 4% in 2020. And the third category uh, is meat. Meat products, uh, prices are quite volatile at the meat counter, and people have noticed, and they're very concerned. And in fact, uh, in light of our report two weeks ago, we are expecting meat prices to go up by 8 6%. So that's quite a lot. Vegetables, fruit, and protein, kind of... Kind of the bedrock of most diets, wouldn't you say? Uh, a little, yeah. yes, wow. absolutely. And so people are, when they're spending time in the grocery store on the periphery, they're exposed to high inflation rates. So the one thing I would, I would recommend to your listeners is perhaps to go and visit that freezer aisle once in a while, because uh, that freezer aisle, prices don't fluctuate as much. Uh, those products are somewhat immune to, uh, to food inflation a little bit. All right, so you're saying uh, because of affordability issues, your report found that more than half of Canadians are planning on changing some of their habits in order to save money. What are some of the things they're planning to change? Well, so they are, uh, there were some surprises, to be honest, Ben. I actually, we were expecting, you know, a different diet or uh, cooking, but the number one choice uh, by Canadians is to actually reduce food waste and of course if you reduce food waste you will save money but uh, a lot of people don't know this but as you walk out of the grocery store if you look at your food basket 38 percent of it on average you'll throw out so if you actually reduce that 38 uh, percent you will save money but the other thing that uh, that is compelling for Keynes we think is the fact that if you reduce food waste you will uh, reduce your carbon footprint, of course. And so as consumers, you can actually do, th do things, two things at once when you reduce food waste. Uh, I'm also seeing a lot of uh, less restaurants and discount, bulk buying as well. Uh, so this, this, this could, could alter a lot. I mean, the, the restaurant business could suffer because of this. Uh, a little, but uh, what we are expecting, so yes, Canadians want to go out less. I'm not sure if that's going to happen because <laughs> of our modern lifestyle. We travel, uh, let's face it, we do go out more. Uh, but the one thing that we're expecting in the New Year is to see more grocery stores setting up a restaurant inside the store. It's called the Grocerant. Ooh. Grocery and restaurants combined together. So you can actually host people and it will charge you less for food, but you don't have to cook it. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'd like to see more of that. <laughs> there's some in Toronto, and uh, there's going to be more across the country. All right. Well, Sylvain Charlebois, thank you so much. Food for thought, pun intended. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.